This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Put down that cigarette and get ready for BS News for this Friday, the 4th, 20th of 2012. And away we go, man. Dateline, strangled dolt. This week, Ted Nugent made inflammatory comments about President Obama. In doing so, he attracted the attention of Secret Service agents. But then it's been 20 years since Ted Nugent attracted the attention of anyone who doesn't carry a gun at all times. Two words of career advice, Ted. Celebrity apprentice. Look what it did for Dee Snyder. Dateline, holy holo. An appearance by a hologram of deceased rapper Tupac Shakur at the Coachella Music Festival in California was so successful that the hologram may go on tour. The concept of using a computer-generated image to replace a person was actually pioneered by the Mitt Romney for President campaign. Bet you didn't know that. Now you do. Dateline, Kane unable. Herman Kane this week rescinded his endorsement of Newt Gingrich for President and endorsed Mitt Romney. The move came after Kane failed to figure out a way to stay with Newt and, you know, just see Mitt Romney on the slide. <laughs> Dateline, happy beak. On a visit to the St. Louis Zoo this week, Newt Gingrich was bitten by a penguin. Experts say the penguin must have sensed that Newt didn't like him because he was half black. Dateline, boom, bada, boom. With half the population being obese, the tiny Arab nation of Qatar is reportedly the fattest nation on Earth. They're also the richest nation on Earth, so nobody will even tell them that they're fat. No, really, darling, you look great. Finally, Dateline, wish a no-no. A new study claims that drinking alcohol may actually enhance a person's problem-solving skills. Um, skeptics point out that if that were true, John Maynard would have seized control of the entire world by now. Pour us another drink. Spicoli and I are going out to the van for a few minutes to 420 with some crippy. BS News for Friday. Have a great weekend, man. <laughs> yes, happy 420, everybody. Happy 420. What was I talking about? Oh. <laughs> yes, 420. Uh, do something nice for a stoner today. Remind them that it's 420 because they'll forget. And then tomorrow they'll go, wasn't yesterday 420? <laughs> yes, it was. You know, it's, it's, it's not like anyone celebrating 420 does anything today that they don't do every day. You know, as a holiday, it would be, I don't know, Thanksgiving for everyone who eats Turkey stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and pumpkin pie every day. See, that's how you know. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not really a holiday, but because there's no, there's no 420 TV specials, not even on the Cartoon Network. So I'm gonna say it's not an official holiday. It's just for stoners, is what it is. Anyway, so happy the uh, 420. Uh, but I, I, I gotta tell you, I, I mean, if you're just listening now, if you just tuned in, what, what happened? We went through the. Um, Ted Nugent went to the Secret Service. Uh, the Secret Service actually went to Ted Nugent yesterday, and Ted Nugent was saying, um, you know, that it was very professional and blah, 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 and that he's been cleared of any wrongdoing. Um, and then suddenly, mysteriously, the YouTube video was taken down. The NRA video of him saying those things was taken down. Somehow, I think, in that conversation with the Secret Service, cut the crap, Ted, came up. I do think those words were spoken. 